when we embarked on this campaign 14 months ago, we were clear from the very beginning that this campaign wasn't about me. It was about Houston, the city that raised me, the city that we all love, and the city that my wife Morgan and I are proud to raise our family in. A city that has been amazing in its upward trajectory, but a city that has some real challenges, challenges that require real leadership. And over the course of this journey, my love for the city of Houston and my passion for solving the problems that we face as a community have only grown. It's grown because I've seen the lives we've touched. I've heard practical solutions that we can bring to bear. I've seen the children whose futures we have the opportunity to brighten. And so I want to thank all the incredible Houstonians that I've met along the way. You've opened the doors of your homes to me. You've invited me in for a cup of coffee or a cold glass of water. You've shared your personal struggles. And you've shared your hopes for a fairer, safer, and more prosperous Houston. You've invested in our grassroots movement with your time, your energy, and your hard-earned dollars. You paid for us, and you prayed with us. You've given us an opportunity to share our message with your friends and with your neighbors. And so, from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I believe that I was called to serve this city, but my faith has taught me that a calling is bigger than any particular position or office. It's not about any one person, but instead about the role that we each can play to help the city we call home to reach the promise that lies ahead. Sister Ada Edwards, a fierce yet noble freedom fighter who we recently laid to rest, put it simply. She said, no one can do everything, but if everyone does something, it'll all get done. And so over these past couple of weeks, I've spent time with my supporters, with community stakeholders, with faith leaders like the ones joining us today, and with family, praying and working to determine that something, that unique role that's mine to play in moving Houston forward. And after much prayer and consideration, after seeking feedback from hundreds of Houstonians who care deeply about our city's future, I'm proud to announce that I'm running to be Houston's next city controller. The challenges that we face as a city are real. Guns on our streets at an all-time high. Affordability in our neighborhoods at an all-time low. And politicians in Austin, like Greg Abbott, who couldn't care less, who've been focusing on banning books, on taking over our schools, on attacking reproductive rights, on sabotaging free and fair elections. And so in these times, it's going to be strong local leaders who have to emerge as our last line of defense. And I'm proud to join that number. I believe in Houston. We believe in you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm going to say it again. I believe in Houston. We have the potential to become the safest major city in America. We have the potential to have the strongest local economy, one that works for all of our residents. But to achieve that, we need more investment in infrastructure and critical services, not less. And we need a city government that's both effective and efficient in fighting for the needs of Houstonians. As the chief financial officer of the city, the controller plays a pivotal role in ensuring good stewardship of our tax dollars. I will fight every day to increase transparency and accountability in our city government ensuring that every single dollar we invest in our city pays real dividends for our community. I'm also excited by the potential for the Office of the City Controller to be Houston's chief innovation office, one that offers new ideas and best practices that will impact the lives of millions of Houstonians for the better. Yeah. 
My career as a problem solver has prepared me to step into this role. For the better part of a decade, I helped government agencies to transform the way that they operate, to better achieve their missions and better serve the people who they were intended to serve, which is us. I brought that same experience to serving as your county clerk, your chief elections officer, during the most important election of our lifetime. And in that moment, we stood up for democracy, and we fought to protect your fundamental rights. We left, <laughs> we left no stone unturned to ensure that nearly 1.7 million Houston area voters could cast ballots and could do so safely, conveniently, and with a peace of mind that your vote was going to be counted. Right. And that effort, that happened by no accident. It demanded real leadership. It demanded not only the skill to manage a complex logistical operation, but also the vision to reshape the culture of government bureaucracy and the courage to stand up for the hardworking Houstonians that we were called to serve. And we proved in that moment what we can accomplish when local government is led by leaders who are accountable, who have fresh ideas and who have a genuine sense of purpose. And with your support, we're prepared to prove that once again in service as your city controller. All right. All right. Now listen, we look forward to a strong and spirited campaign. Yes. And I hope that you will join us as together we continue our fight to create a Houston that is safer and stronger for all of us and for our families and for our future. All right. And so thank you. God bless you and God bless this great city. Thanks for that question. Uh, as you know, Chelsea, the controller is the elected watchdog for the city. And because of that, I think it's important that the controller or candidate for controller maintain independence uh, from the mayor. Uh, that having been said, I want to make something clear. I have nothing but the deepest respect and highest esteem for Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Here. She's a personal hero of mine. She's an icon. She has been an incredibly hard worker for the 18th Congressional District and for Houstonians and Texans. And when I was fighting to protect and preserve democracy, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me in that fight. And just this past November, when I and many others were fighting to ensure that Harris County and this Houston area continue to move forward instead of backwards. The Congresswoman should shoulder to shoulder with me in that fight as well. And so, look, I think she would make a fine mayor. And I've told her face to face that I wish her the absolute best. Sure. Look, with, with every new entrant into the race, the dynamics change, right? Uh, Pact of victory gets complicated. But again, uh, and at the risk of repeating myself, this race has never been about me. It's never been about any particular position. It's been about how we can bring our talents and our experience to bear to serve this city in the best way that we can. And in this moment, that servant is the next city controller. Uh, our campaign has inspired many. Uh, you probably know that we've already broken the all-time record for donors to any local campaign in Houston's history. Young voters who chipped in a dollar or five dollars have been a part of that. 
we've already been knocking doors. Uh, college students and young people have been pivotal to that. We've spread our message on social media. And so uh, we're going to continue to invite them to be a part of this fight. We're going to continue to encourage them to make their voices heard, to stand up for democracy, to stand up for their communities and what's best for them in their futures. And, and as the next city controller, I'm going to be fighting for them in their futures as well. The city controller is an incredibly important position. It's a pivotal role. Our chief financial officer. Uh, you may know that we're facing some real financial challenges in this city. Um, it's been projected that the next budget that we have to pass uh, in the first term of the new mayor and the new control uh, will be one where we have a 200 million or more structural deficit. It's going to take real smarts, real ability, real commitment. Uh, to thread that needle. And that's not right. even talking about having to pay our firefighters, mm -hmm. of whom my two sisters are married to two HFD <laughs> firefighters. Uh, and so beyond my, my, my uh, position as a citizen of this city, uh, I have a personal stake in that. Now listen, that's so important. Beyond being the chief financial officer, beyond managing the city's investment portfolio, uh, the controller is also one that is responsible for performance audits. My background is a management consultant and, and my performance as, as county clerk, I think you've seen that it's important that we focus on how to improve local government. And the city controller plays a very unique role in that. And I look forward, as the next city controller, uh, to helping the city to get better, to be firing on all cylinders, to be effective and efficient in the way that we impact the lives of Houstonians. So would you rule out that another run for mayor? I'm running for city of controller. <laughs> 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 you mentioned uh, meeting with the Congresswoman uh, Clinton and telling her that she's doing so well. Can you tell us what that meeting was like and what else she learned from you? Yeah, as I mentioned, the Congresswoman and I have, have a long relationship. Um, and so we've met on several occasions uh, to talk about politics, to talk about life, to talk about the future of the city of Houston. And uh, those conversations are always private. And um, again, I, I wished her well in this race, and I continue to wish her well. Have you had the, the poll out here? Anybody from the poll? Andrew, Jimmy, did you get it you needed? Okay. I just want to follow up. Okay. What do you say to the, you talk about all the support that you receive, but what do you say to those people who may actually be heartbroken about this news? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, listen, we, we didn't just walk out here today. Um, you know, on a last moment's notice. I've spent so much time over the last couple of weeks talking to supporters directly, asking for their feedback on the role that we should play in the future of the city of Houston. And to a number, uh, those supporters have been encouraging. They uh, have expressed their continued support in whatever endeavor we pursue. Um, and they've understood the importance that, again, the city controller is going to play. In, in these next moments in our city's history. And so I think our supporters are encouraged as we move forward, and, and we're going to continue to give them reason to be excited. We support you. Yes, we support you. Yes. 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 Yes.